Welcome to the presentation of our work locality analysis of graph reordering algorithms. Our group in Queen's University Belfast consists of Professor Hans Van Dieren Donk, Professor Peter Kilpatrick and me Mohsen Kui. Locality is defined as a feature of programs to cluster references to a subset of memory addresses for a special period of execution. Improving locality in memory intensive uh, applications provides more reuse of cache contents and uh, reduces the number of memory accesses and uh, accelerates the execution of the program. A reordering algorithm assigns new IDs to the vertices of a graph that uh, changes the order in which edges are processed and memory accesses are performed. This finally changes the reuse of cache contents In this work, we investigate the effects of uh, reordering algorithms on the sparse matrix vector multiplication where reordering algorithms uh, such as slash burn, reorder and rapid order provide up to 12 times a speed up. SPMV can be performed in two directions. In pool direction, each vertex reads data of its in neighbors and uh, in push direction, each vertex updates data of its out neighbors. Parallel uh, push traversal requires protecting data of vertices from concurrent uh, accesses to data of a vertex and uh, we use uh, pull direction in this work. In graph processing algorithms such as SPMV, we have two types of memory accesses. Sequential memory accesses for reading topology data in lines 1 and 3 of uh, SPMV pool and uh, for writing new vertex data in line uh, 5 and uh, random memory accesses in uh, line 4 for reading uh, old vertex data. Uh, random memory accesses uh, are the main target of uh, reordering algorithms to provide uh, better locality and uh, accelerate the execution. In this paper, we explain how do graph reordering algorithms improve locality and uh, how reordering algorithms affect uh, real board graphs in different ways. The slash burn algorithm has been designed for graph data sets with power load degree distribution and uh, iteratively removes hops and uh, finds the giant connected component to be processed in the next iteration. Other uh, vertices uh, in uh, other connected components and uh, hops receive uh, new vertex IDs in each iteration. The efficacy of slash burn on real world graphs depends on uh, whether these graphs are destroyed recursively. We plot the frequency of vertices for different iterations of slash burn and uh, we see real world graphs are not destroyed recursively. In other words, uh, we see after a few iterations, the giant connected component shows an almost uh, uniform degree distribution and uh, more iterations uh, separates the low degree vertices from uh, their neighbors. To improve the slash burn algorithm, we introduced the slash burn plus plus that limits the number of iterations and uh, we see that uh, the preprocessing time of slash burn plus plus is much uh, less than the slash burn while the travel cell time is improved. Reorder is the next reordering algorithm that we investigate in this work. Reorder starts from the vertex with maximum degree and uh, uses a sliding window to find the vertex 
with maximum score between the neighbors of vertices that uh, recently have received ITs. To understand how Georder improves locality, we measure the number of last level cache misses for uh, vertices with degree greater than a threshold. That uh, shows us uh, that uh, Georder increases the reload of high degree vertices to free cache capacity for the low degree vertices. This allows Georder to reduce the reload of low degree vertices that have a much greater quantity in uh, power low graphs. Rabbit order is the next reordering algorithm that we investigate in this work and uh, starts from the low degree vertices and for each vertex searches for the neighbor with the maximum gain for merging. After constructing a community's rabbit order applies DFS to assign ID to vertices in each community. To assess how rabbit order improves locality, we introduce average uh, distance ID, AID, that measures the difference between IDs of consecutive neighbors of a vertex with the sorted neighbor list. If neighbors are closer to each other, uh, we can expect the reuse of data will be more likely. And uh, in this way, AID can be an indicator of a special locality. By plotting AID values for vertices of different degrees, we can see rabbit order provide lower AIDs for low degree vertices by assigning especially close IDs to neighboring uh, low degree vertices. However, rabbit order cannot uh, form distinct cl clusters uh, for uh, high degree vertices and AID is increased. In comparison of uh, Reordering algorithms, we observe that uh, reordering algorithms try to improve locality of low degree vertices or high degree vertices. To assess that, we measure the last level cache misses for each vertex and uh, plot the average miss rate for vertices with the same degree. That gives us these plots where x axis is degree and average miss rate is shown by the y-axis. Each plot uh, shows how miss rate of uh, a reordering algorithm varies uh, for different degrees. For low degree vertices that are on the left of the x-axis, we see reorder, rabbit order has the lowest uh, miss rate, but uh, for high degree vertices, it's the georder algorithm that provides better locality. For hubs with the highest degrees, we see that uh, reordering algorithms cannot provide better locality and uh, processing a great portion of edges of graph suffers from poor locality even after relabeling. We compare uh, reordering algorithms regarding how they effectively use cache capacity. We said that uh, SPMV results in uh, two types of memory accesses. Sequential memory accesses for reading topology data and uh, random accesses for reading uh, data of vertices. Random accesses are the main target of uh, reordering algorithms as sequential accesses are not repeated and accelerated by prefectures of the CPU. To measure how reordering algorithms use cache capacity for satisfying uh, random memory accesses, we define uh, effective cache size 
as the average portion of the cache capacity used for random memory accesses. By measuring uh, effective uh, cache size, we see that uh, reordering algorithms don't utilize uh, all capacity of the cache. And uh, moreover, when reordering algorithms improve locality, they reduce the effective cache size. Now we present a structural analysis of uh, real-world graphs that uh, explains how labeling algorithms affect uh, these datasets in different ways. We, we observe that uh, GeoOrder is more effective for social networks while it is the rabbit order algorithm that is more effective for web graphs. To analyze that, we define a number of degree classes such as vertices with degree 1 to 10, 10 to 100 and so on and we calculate uh, how vertices of different degree classes contribute in neighborhood of other vertices. That gives us these plots that uh, shows, for example, for Twitter graph and for vertices in degree class 10 to 100, 4% of uh, neighbors have degree uh, 1 to 10, 17% have degree 10 to 100, and so on. These plots show that high degree vertices for more than half of the neighborhood of uh, vertices in social networks or in other words uh, high degree vertices have a close connection to each other in social networks but uh, in web graphs such as SCA domain it is the low degree vertices that are dominant in uh, forming neighborhood of vertices. In this way, for social networks, we have a fully connected high degree vertices that uh, cannot be kept in the cache. And uh, we explain that GeoOrder provides better locality by giving priority to temporary use of low degree vertices. On the other hand, Low degree vertices are the dominant constituents of vertices in web graphs and uh, rabbit order provides better locality by improving uh, AID and uh, increasing clustering for low degree vertices. Next we investigate how structural difference of real world graphs affects locality of push and pull traversals in SPMV. We show that in hubs of web graphs have more number of edges than edges of the same number of out hubs. And uh, therefore, web graphs cannot benefit from push locality. But uh, in social networks, out hubs are more powerful than in hubs and uh, social networks benefit from pool locality. Conclusion We introduced a number of metrics and tools to analyze locality optimizing graph ordering algorithms such as slash burn, order and rabbit order and their effects on different real world graphs. We introduced the cache miss rate degree distribution and AID degree distribution to analyze how different vertices are affected by reordering algorithms. We introduced the effective cache size and we showed that uh, reordering algorithms reduce the effective cache size after improving locality. We also presented a structural analysis of real-world graphs that uh, explains how differently they are uh, affected by re reordering algorithms. We also introduced push and pull localities that uh, 
explain the effect of structure of real world graphs on direction of traversal thank you and uh, further discussions are available on our website blogs.qb.ac.uk slash graph processing thank you